students i am mahima lahiria from vijayanagar college hospet students today i am going to explain you the deed transitions and this is an important application of the crystal field theory which explains the color of the transition metal complexes so now let us see when any complex absorbs the light means we know that our white light is composed of the seven colors what are the seven colors we know that that is our विव ग्योर है ना हमारा पूरा सेवन कलर्स होता है इसमें वॉयलेट इंडिगो ब्लू ग्रीन येलो ऑरेंज रेड एंड द रेंजेस लाइज फ्रॉम द फोर थाउजेंड आर्म स्ट्रॉन्ग टू द सेवन थाउजेंड आर्म स्ट्रॉन्ग सो वी कैन से दैट द वेन एनी कॉम्प्लेक्स एब्जॉर्ब एनी लाइट इट विल नॉट अपियर्स टू बी द कलर ऑफ द एब्जॉर्ब लाइट देन वॉट कलर द लाइट विल अपियर्स टू बी सो नाउ लेट अस डिस्कस दिस इन द डिटेल्स वी कैन से दैट वेन एनी कॉम्प्लेक्स absorbs the full light means if a complex absorbs the full wave gear length radiations visible range range then it will appears to be black if it reflect all the colors then it will appears to be white and if the complex absorbs some and it will reflect some so it will have a particular color and that particular color is the color of the transmitted light transmitted light so we can say that for example if we see the copper complex tetra aqua copper complex absorbs the yellow light and it appears to be the blue in color why so we can see here the complementary color of the yellow is blue so it absorbs the yellow light and it appears to be the blue now i hope you understand this are the light of the which will be absorbed and these are the transmitted light means this will be the color of the ions this will be the color of the complexes means if it absorbs the violet light it appears to be the yellow green if it absorbs the blue light it will appears yellow and so on so the copper complex absorbs the yellow light it appears to be the blue in color because the complementary color of oh, sorry for the transmitted light is the blue and the complementary color of the yellow is blue so that's why second example TiH two whole six three plus absorbs the green light and it appears to be the purple. The same reason the complementary color of the green is purple, so that's why this complex absorbs the green light. It appears to be the purple. But we will study this in the detail. There are certain phenomena like DD transitions which takes place here when they absorb the radiations. So we can say that the color of the absorbed light is different from the transmitted light, and the color of the transmitted light. is called the complementary color of the absorbed light and is the color of the complexes color of the transmitted light is called the complementary color of the absorbed light and it is the color of the complexes i will explain the dd transitions with the help of our tis2 whole 6 3 plus complex as we know that there are 5d orbitals that is our dxy dyz dzx dx square minus y square and dz square these three orbitals if we see their lobes are lying between the axes so these are known as our non they are lying between the axes not on the axis so these are our non axial orbitals and these two orbitals are our axial orbitals as their lobes are lying on the axis now we can say that when our the complex tih2 whole 6 3 plus the atomic number of the central metal atom that is titanium here is 22 the configuration we will write that is our argon that is 18 3d2 4s2 and 4p0 so when we talk about the complex we must first know the charge on the metal atom so here we can calculate the charge on the titanium complex as water is our neutral ligand so the charge on this h2 is 0 so we can calculate the charge on the titanium we can take x for the titanium and 6 into 0 plus 3 is the charge on the complex so we will get x is equals to plus 3 okay so how calculate the charge first we will write for the titanium x we will take and the 6 is the number of h2 ligand the charge is 0 so we will multiply it with and we will get finally the charge on the complex uh, complex is plus 3 given so hence the titanium will have the plus 3 charge here Plus three means we have to donate the three electrons from this our electronic configuration. So we can write it here as our three d two four s two and four p zero configuration. As this is the ground state and the excited state, the three electrons will be promote uh, will be moved out. So we can just take the out four s two electron and three d one. So we can say that there will be only one electron left in our t two g orbital. Now we can say that this complex all the five d orbitals. 
were having the same energy but as what happens when the light is absorbed by this complex they absorb the light of our 5000 armstrong wavelength and when this light is absorbed by this complex one of the electron from the ground state t2g1 is promoted to the eg orbital and hence how much energy is required in this transitions that is our 57 kcal calories per mole and this energy promotes one electron from one uh, t2g orbital to eg orbital as this is also d this is also d so this phenomena the transfer of electron from one g orbital to another d orbital is known as our dd transition the transfer of electron from t2g to eg is taking place here so first the configuration of t2g was one here it is zero but now the configuration changes it is here t2g uh, is zero and eg is now one so we can say that the transfer of one uh, electron from one d orbital to another d orbital is known as our dd transition so we can say that as it absorbs the wavelength of the 5000 armstrong and this is the region of the green light already we discussed in the previous slides the 5000 armstrong is the region of the green light it absorbs the green light wavelength and it appears to be the purple as the purple is the complementary color so we can see here the spectra also so in this diagram here we on the x axis there is a frequency and here is the wavelength plotted and here the molar absorbance is shown now we can say that this is the maximum absorption maxima shows that the complex absorbs the light at the 5000 armstrong wavelength and it is of the green light so we can say that our And this is a visible absorption spectrum of TiH two hole six three plus complex, where the lambda maximum is a five thousand armstrong and the frequency is twenty thousand centimeter inverse. So we can say that when one electron is transferred from one d orbital t two g to other d orbital e g is known as the d d transition. I hope you can uh, now explain it well. from one electron is promoted from one d orbital to the other d orbital. Now we will see how the the when the complex absorbs a green light it appears to be the purple so let us see in detail say that when one of the electron is promoted from the d t2g orbital to d eg orbital that is our d transitions and it absorbs the light of the 5000 armstrong wavelength that it is of the green region in the visible uh, visible region so we can say that the complementary color of the green is purple so this ion appears to be the purple by absorbing the green light and here we can see the colors of the wave gear our violet indigo blue green yellow orange and the red all these colors we cannot identify where the red starts where the orange ends means they are in the continuous spectrum like so if any color absorbs any light suppose it absorbs the green region light so it will appears to be the red color so we can say uh, some more details of the complementary color every light has its own complementary color so here we can see this if the complex absorbs the green light it appears to be the purple because the complementary color of the green is purple similarly if any complex absorbs the blue region light and this complex will appears to be the yellow because the complementary color of the blue will be yellow so if you want to take the screenshot you can take these are the complementary colors of the light absorbs so if any complex absorbs the violet light it appears to be yellow green if it absorbs blue light it will appears yellow if it will absorbs the green blue light it will appears to be orange if it absorbs the blue green light it will appears to be red if it absorbs the green wavelength light it will appears to be purple and so on yellow green complementary color is violet yellow the complementary color is blue orange complementary color is green red complementary color is blue green so we can say that the wavelength increases in this order highest wavelength is of the red color and the lowest of the violet and the energy decreases in this order because the wavelength and the energy are having the inverse relation as we all know so we can say that these are the complementary um, colors if so the our complex tih2 whole 6 absorbs the green light and it appears to be the purple because the complementary color of the green light is purple so that's why because of the dd transitions one of the electron is promoted from the t2g orbital to the eg orbital by the absorption of the green wavelength and hence it appears to be the purple with help of this complex tih2 whole 6 3 plus you can explain the color of the transition metal complexes as well as the dd transitions the dd transitions 
are also known as the ligand field transition and when we will study the details of the selection rules we will come to know that the type the dd transition are a forbidden transition so this is an one of the important application of the crystal field theory the color of the complexes hope you like the video please share and subscribe my channel thank you